couple of new polls out uh, show that Hillary Clinton is not doing so well. Now, these polls are from ABC News, uh, Washington Post, NACNN, or RC poll. Now, in these polls, they show that Hillary Clinton uh, is down. Her numbers have seen the lowest drop. They're at the lowest point in the last 14 years. Okay, so let's drill into the numbers. Now, uh, in April, which is the le since the last CNN, ORC, Washington Post, ABC News polls were taken to gauge Hillary's support among Democrats, her support has dropped by nine points. With more than just eight and ten Democrats, they believe her to be honest and trustworthy. Now that number is about 73%, and only... 42% of people now say that she is honest and trustworthy. Wow. Interesting. Now, I had an interesting conversation today uh, with somebody near where I live. And they were saying pretty much the same thing. I don't like Hillary because I think she's shady. She's a pretty shady character. I don't trust her at all. Hmm. This seems to... Uh, and look... Uh, Let's be honest, I don't know her political affiliation, this person that I talked to. But certainly, she's definitely not, she definitely does not trust Hillary Clinton. And it sort of reflects what we're going, what, 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 we're, what we're seeing in some of the recent polls coming out. People are not trusting Hillary, and I understand why. Sure, you've got your bullshit scandals, Benghazi, the emails, which I don't really think is a big deal. And then you've got some real stuff, some actual things, like everything that's going on with the Clinton Foundation, with, you know, donors, and we covered this story earlier, donors giving uh, money to the Clinton Foundation, and then getting massively sweetheart deals when it comes to the State Department and getting weapons. Now, I realize the Clinton Foundation isn't a political organization, it's a charity. But nonetheless, you see that, oh, Saudi Arabia, uh, the king, King Abdullah, I believe, of Saudi Arabia, giving millions of dollars to the foundation, and then uh, getting a good deal, a weapons contract from the State Department, so they could buy the jets, I believe it was F-35s, that they really, really wanted. Hmm, interesting. It, uh, it seems like, uh, it seems a good reason not to trust Hillary Clinton. Now, what about the Republicans? Now, I'm, I'm bashing Clinton over the head on this one, right? Because I, I also don't think that she is very uh, honest or trustworthy. She is a politician, which means she's going to play politics. She's going to tack to the left, as we've seen on a lot of issues. Now, she's only been tacking to the left, I think, is because she's actually been having some progressive... Uh, uh, she's got a progressive challenger in Bernie Sanders and even Martin O'Malley. With his rhetoric. Now I don't, I don't, I don't trust him as far as I could throw him. But nonetheless, he's also saying things that are bringing uh, that are bringing Hillary more to the left in her positions. Do I like some of those positions that she's talking about? Yeah, yes, of course. I like expanding. I like the idea of expanding voting rights. I like the idea of a litmus test for putting a, somebody on the Supreme Court, saying that if if I nominate you. You must promise to get rid of, to overturn Citizens United. I like those positions, but for me, her taking those positions, it seems very disingenuous. And it seems like she's only doing it now because that's what's popular. And see, that's the problem that I have with the Clintons in the first place. They're centrists. They're third way, and they tend to, you know... They, they pretty much tend to do this. Where's the wind blowing? Where's the wind blowing? I'm going to go that way then. Uh, Bill Clinton with Doma. Right? The Defense of Marriage Act. Gay marriage was a, unpopular during the 1990s. It certainly was not in a majority. It was still in a minority opinion of support. So Bill Clinton went along with that and said, well, I'm going to sign the Defense of Marriage Act. Which now... Since it's flipped, the polls have flipped on same-sex marriage. Now Bill, Bill Clinton's like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. 
Yeah, I shouldn't have deregulated the uh, telecom industry. I shouldn't have uh, helped deregulate bank the banking industry. Whoops. But all that stuff was popular back in the day. And he went along with it. And that's what Hillary's doing. It's no wonder that they don't find her trustworthy. Okay, so there's more in this poll. And as I said, I've been beating up on Clinton, but let's go over to the Republican Party and take a look at where they are at with uh, some of the polls. Now, according to the Washington Post ABC poll on the GOP, so the different, uh, the, the Republican clown car, who is leading? Who's driving this car? Well, so unsurprisingly, it's led by Rand Paul and Scott Walker, who are actually at a dead heat of 11%. Followed by Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio at 10%. All right, interesting. So you've got Rand Paul and Scott Walker, two very likely and strong contenders, I think, for the GOP nomination. All right? Especially Rand Paul. But I've, also, I've often pointed at Scott Walker and said, this is a guy you need to watch out for. Scott Walker is dangerous. Because he doesn't say as much stupid shit. Yeah, he said he said a couple of uh, times where he did, as old will. But as far as record goes, and as far as being able to fundraise, like from the Koch brothers, Scott Walker is a very likely candidate. So I wouldn't count him out, and I also wouldn't count out Rand Paul. And it's not surprising to see that at the moment they're leading. But once again, it is the GOP primary. You could see that flip. Remember the last time? Where you had Herman Cain, Mr. 999, leading. You had Rick Santorum leading. You had Michelle Bachman leading at one point. So with the GOP, you never know what's going to happen. All right. So uh, so back to Clinton real quick. Now, according to uh, this report in Politico, um, much of Clinton's fate is attributable, uh, attributable to shifts among independents. But she's also losing some ground among her own partisans. Uh, for example, Sanders doubled his likely vote tally after he announced before this before this new poll and the last one he did not announce uh now it's been a couple of weeks since he's announced and his vote has uh his likely vote tally has doubled which is great i think it's great news i think more people need to pay more attention to bernie sanders he is a serious contender and that's not just my opinion that's also the opinion of lots of Americans. As you can see, a lot of his rallies have been incredibly huge. And the media does not give him a fair shake. Now, Rick Santorum, however, his last rally had like one person show up. And then eventually, a couple more showed up. And yet he gets more press time, positive press time, than Bernie Sanders. 